Halo has recently joined our family, and we are getting up to speed with our husbandry behaviors and getting used to an ultrasound probe. Prior to her arrival here at Georgia, she was mixed with mature males, and she is a mature female. Uh, so I'm sure you probably have an idea why we're ultrasounding. It's to determine if she is in fact pregnant, and we can track her pregnancy and make sure that we're providing her all the necessary medical care that she needs. So this is a no longer in use ultrasound probe that our veterinary services has given to us to use for descents so that when we actually go for an ultrasound, they're used to the probe, what it looks like, what it feels like. So what I'm doing is I'm just gonna get her used to letting her see the probe. And Katrina's just reinforcing her for staying calm and focused on her. Harbor seals. Are you good? Harbor seals are a member of the pinniped family, which they share with sea lions. Oh. And they can be found anywhere from Mexico all the way up to Alaska along the coast. We target here. Oh, hi. Oh, you're so mobile. What's unique to me about harbor seals is how they move. And then let's walk around Miss T. They kind of use a caterpillar motion or almost like a slug, whereas their cousins, the sea lions, they can actually walk upright on all four fingers. Ready? Yeah. On. OK, I'm going to take it off. Good girl. Good job. That was great. Halo continues to progress day to day. Oh. You have an appointment you need to go to? Uh, she has her days just like we all do, where participation may not be as high as we want it to. Oh, I didn't schedule oh, oh, my ultrasound this morning. Her meeting got canceled. She's back. Ready? Yep. OK, on. That's perfect. Good girl. I'm going to get this in no time. I know it. Come on, little one. Go by. Come on. Good. Good job. Great. Great. Inside because there is a high probability that she is pregnant. We will be having our vets uh, having the machine on and we're actively looking for an image. Okay, let's do this. Hey, Madeline. We're just gonna hang out here. Hi, kid. You got this. Sister. So she's gonna come out right here and she's gonna roll to the right. You want me standing or kneeling to start? Kneeling is great. Okay. We wanna try to build that behavior up with the husbandry staff. We just kinda talk. How is the animal doing? Are they holding well enough? Where can we put the probe? And it's just gonna depend on how Halo feels like participating. Come in. There she is. Deck. All right, we gotta tell Dr. Chelsea you have a baby in here. Oh, look at all your friends are here. Belly button? Yeah. Right there? Yeah. Oop. What are you doing? Come here. Oh, she gotta go. Halo is not as comfortable around the vet staff as she is us because the vets aren't around her nine hours every day. Come on, little one. We're just gonna hang out here. You got this, sister. Yeah, you got this. You're a brave little girl. Up, oh, she's leaving. and say we probably aren't going to get an image today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So let's turn this into a descent session. So let's just bring her out next to Chelsea, feed, send her back. Yeah. We'll leave it there for today. Every animal works at a different pace, and that's Hi. fine. We're going to work at whatever pace that animal wants. Oh, look at all your friends are here. Target. Oh, there you go. There you go. That's so wonderful. Yeah. Halo. Uh, doesn't necessarily feel the most comfortable getting her ultrasound, which is fine. For us as trainers, it just lets us know uh, we need to do some more descents. Okay, bye, Dr. Chelsea. 
We need to do a little more work with Halo to get her comfortable. Tomorrow's another day. All right. We're gonna attempt to do a voluntary ultrasound on Halo. Over the past weeks and months, we've been doing a lot of descent ultrasounds with Halo, and that's so she gets used to me or the other vets. But we're gonna see what we can get and see if we can't see inside today. Megan, yeah. where do you want me to stage stuff? Right up here, right outside of D. She may be pregnant, she may not be. We'll see. All right, think good thoughts. Good girl. You just touch her? Yeah. yeah. Okay, there you go, Chelsea. All right. Low. There are no large distended organs with fluid or objects. So no baby? Suggestive of baby. No, no baby. No baby. Not this year. Sorry, Ma. The good news is she still was able to roll over enough for us to get the ultrasound probe on there, and she's comfortable with it and relaxed. Good job. We're just not going to have a puff this year with Halo. So um, maybe next year. You never know. Good girl.